doing, River? Day has finally arrived. Jack and I are about to head to Canada. Going with one of my college buddies, Dusty. He's been one of our good friends for a long time. Uh, we waterfowl hunt with him every year. We're hoping to be there by 12 o'clock Thursday. Today's Wednesday. And hunt Thursday evening. We're gonna be there for nine or 10 days. Our first time up there, we're pretty excited. Get to see some new scenery. Um, yeah, let's hit the road. The guy's handy on a ranch, let me tell you. That's right. Jack and I had never been to Canada before, so this is our first trip there. And we're going with one of my best friends from college, Dusty. Uh, him and his family go up there every year, and we left out on a Wednesday. And our goal was to be shooting birds by Thursday afternoon, and it was about a 26-hour haul. Made it to the Canadian border. About to check in. It was like 4.30 in the morning. As soon as day, daylight broke there in Canada, you could just, you could tell it was gonna be a special trip. Uh, us being from Missouri and the area, the part of Missouri that we live in, we don't get to see waterfowl near what we saw there. It's like, finally made it to Canada. It's like a Canadian salute. Fowl everywhere. The reason I got about five hours of sleep it was a long, long, long night. But we're here. We're here. So we, we roll up there to our farmhouse that we're staying in around 1 o'clock and uh, instantly go out, scout, find a pond that has 5,000 ducks on it and it's it's windy, the wind's blowing about 30 mile an hour, it's snowing sideways, just miserable out, and we were a little gun happy. We tried to film a little bit, but uh, got to the point where we just, really we drove 26 hours straight, we were all just ready to shoot, so we didn't do a whole lot of filming there the first couple of days, actually. So our first few days, we didn't really touch the camera a whole lot at all. We had great, had a great three days. Got our shooting in, and uh, we, I mean, we had we probably killed close to 300 birds the first three days. And by then, we kind of got our shooting fill in. And Connor sent me up with the camera. I thought, well, he sent me all the way up here with this. We should probably use it a little bit. So we had a, a few days left. And so we decided that we were just going to take turns. We we're going to take turns filming each other. Somebody video for three or four groups, and then pass the camera down the blind to the next guy. We were hunting anywhere from 10 to 20,000 bird feeds. Just to see that number of birds out in one field was, was mind boggling to all of us. And it, it was a crazy experience. Been non-stop oh, shooting, okay, so somebody. hopefully that hopefully that continues. We're currently doing a mass pickup. Cole and Jack are out in the spread. I don't know. I don't even know what time it is. Oh. 
728 and we're at uh, 77 watts and I think like 30 ducks so oh, really? morning's just now starting so So being from South Central Missouri, we don't really hunt snow geese hardly ever. I don't think I've ever hunted snow geese actually before I went up to Canada. And I'll never forget the first morning there. We uh, we put out about a thousand decoys. Never done that before either. Big big monster spreads. Put up a panels. Northern lights are coming in. I never got to see that before. Bucket list of mine. But these snow geese, I'll never forget it. They just start rolling off the roost and. I mean, you're talking groups of two, three hundred, and they just start coming and they just start spinning. It's good. It's good. It felt like it'd take them forever to get down there to you. So basically in Canada it's nothing but fields and a lot of big potholes. It was awesome being able to roll up to the field with the trailer, just unload everything, stay dry. It was really cold the first few days that we were there, so I was, think we'll be sitting in a, in a frame, not, not sitting in the water. Pretty good this morning though. So whatever's coming in is dying. Canada. Slept good last night with bed early. Hunting a bunch of Canadians this morning.
Cole and I's last hunt in Canada. It's been uh, it's been a heck of a trip. We've uh, killed a bunch of birds and it's been been really fun. So um, this morning we're hunting a honker feed. It's our first first time hunting dark geese while we've been here in Canada. So uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can end on a good note. So it's been a heck of a trip regardless. Waiting on that sun to get up, get our decoys out of the shadow. It's early. Go. up our Canada trip finished at 997 birds not bad for seven days uh, I'd say that'll be hard to beat ever again in my lifetime I've been dreaming about doing something like that for ever since we started duck hunting but what a week we'll see you on the next one